figure 1538 gives the one-dimensional potential energy well for a 2.0 kilogram particle. The function mu of x has the form bx squared, and the vertical axis scale is set by us is equal to 2.0 joules, a. If the particle passes through the equilibrium position with a velocity of 85 centimeters per second, will it be turned back before it reaches x equals 15 centimeters? b. If yes, at what position, and if no, what is the speed of the particle at x equals 15 centimeters? Okay, so we know that us is equal to 2.0 joules. And this occurs, so us occurs at x equals negative 20 centimeters or plus 20 centimeters. We'll just use the plus, so x equals 20 centimeters. And we know that u of x is equal to bx squared. OK, so then we can solve for b. So we have 2.0 is equal to b. We have to use meters, 0 0.2 squared. So then b, just rearranging this and solving, is equal to 50. <coughs> So for A, we're trying to find, will it be turned back before it reaches 15 centimeters if the velocity at equilibrium position is 85 centimeters per second? So we know that the energy at any position is equal to the potential energy plus the kinetic energy. So at equilibrium position, we have zero potential, zero potential, but we have maximum kinetic. So solving for the kinetic energy at equilibrium, we have 1 half mv squared equal to 1 half times the mass, which is 2 kilograms, times the velocity in meters, 0 0.85 squared. And this gives us 0 0.722 five joules. This is the kinetic energy at equilibrium position. So what we want to do then is solve the potential energy at 15 centimeters. If we solve the potential energy at 15 centimeters, it's going to be equal to 50 times 0 015 squared. You can also look at the graph for this. It should give you the same value, but this is more accurate than estimating from a graph. 1.125 joules. So we can see that this potential energy at 15 centimeters is greater than the maximum kinetic energy. So that means that the maximum potential energy, if the kinetic energy is 0 0.85 meters per second, will be 0 0.7225. So that means it's going to turn back before x equals 15 centimeters because it has a smaller amplitude than 15. Will it be turned back? Yes, it's going to be turned back. So that means in B, we're trying to find if what position is it turned back. So all we have to do is set the potential energy equal to 0 0.7225 and solve for x. So we have 0 0.7225 is equal to 50x squared. And solving for x, this gives us 12.0 centimeters. So this is the position where the particle will be turned back, the amplitude of the motion, if the velocity equilibrium position is 85 centimeters per second.